I'm skating down the ice. I see an object fly by me. I'm like, kind of, you know, what is that? I take a glance, I'm like, it's a banana. I saw an opportunity to kind of do two things. One, talk about this, you know, uncover this history of the Colored Hockey League and the kind of origin stories of hockey and the Black experience in it. And then the second part was to really talk about the current, you know, Black experience in hockey. And through talking about that experience, we could talk about bigger issues that had to do with hockey, but it had to do with also just the world. Whatever happens, we got to put our head down and shut our mouth is what's wrong with our game. Akeem Alou claims that Flames head coach Bill Peters directed racist language at him. Hard stuff to talk about. Racism. Yeah, it's an ingrained in the game. Any black person has had an experience of overt racism in their lives at some point, you know? And so I think why Akeem is so important in the story is because he's the first person to really say it publicly in his context of the hockey world. And so that really opened doors then for other players to feel like they could talk about it and also that they would be asked about it. I had to keep my mouth shut and just move forward. It's a cultural problem within the sport of hockey that goes unchecked. Hockey itself is quite closed as a sport. And I felt that even early on in the process of making the documentary. So some of the interviews, some of the conversations I had, it was quite a bit like you were doing a story on the mafia, you know, like it was that kind of like, if you're inside of this space, then we are free to talk. If you are coming from outside of the space, we don't break that silence. This is our sport. We go all the way back to the 1800s in the Colored Hockey League. So don't let anybody ever tell you this is not your sport because this is exactly where you're supposed to be. I hope that some people see themselves. I think I saw myself in this story and understood, oh, the deep rooted origins of black history is in so many places that we don't get a chance to see or celebrate. And then I'm hoping for younger people who are going into the spaces that they see themselves and kind of see other people standing up and other people that they look up to and can look up to in those spaces. And then the third part is I hope that it inspires some change. I think organizational change, community change to try and make those spaces um, better than where they've been. I think it's really important that we reclaim our place in history. It's something we have to do for the younger generation coming up.